You know what it is. You are in PE with Dave and Jay. I'm Jay. That's my Dave. guy, Dave. <laughs> What's good? And this is where we build while we build. Good, Dave. What's good, man? Nothing, man. Another Sunday. Another Sunday, yeah. man. Ready to get it in. So you got Hot the skyline today, behind right? you. Yeah, skyline man. Behind that's you looking. That's dope. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what it is dope. Metropolis of Crestview, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Metropolis. Today's chest day, yeah. right? Yeah, man. Uh, chest day. Um, so what we're going to do today, man, we're going to utilize the bench a little bit uh, for the first circuit. We're going to do uh, – inclines we're gonna do a static bench and then we're gonna do the workout that you you know that, that you've been pushing uh and then we're gonna move over to the cable side and then we're gonna do some groundwork with push-ups uh to finish all right. it off man Sounds all right good, so yes yeah, and then you know as far as the first workout man uh we're gonna just utilize again guys we're gonna be on this bench here like i told you before uh loyal view you know all you loyal viewers man 45 to 30 is what i like to start with as far as the incline um, again, well, I use, I use 30 so that I can isolate my upper chest as opposed to using my shoulders more. All right. The higher up you go, the more you're going to use your shoulders. So I like to go a little further back. I think I'm probably like two notches above flat bench. So that's around 30 degrees. So, uh, you know, you're just going to take a dumbbell. All right. Let me show you real quick. You're going to take your dumbbells. All right. And you're going to start here at shoulder, at shoulder level, man. And you're just going to extend upwards. Boom. All right. And what we're going to do is, man, we're going to do 15, 12, 10, and then the drop eight, man. Again, we're back on the drop set to be able to uh, get that get that burn at the end of the workout. All right. So what we're going to do, good. man, is we're going to do these. Um, we just, we, we're not going to do a circuit. We're just going to pump out the workout, uh, get it knocked out. We'll, you know, we'll alternate sets and then uh, we'll move on to the next workout, man. All right. Cool. Cool. No circuit, just straight set. Got it. Yep. Got it. Yep. Yo, so um, I know it's a probably a, a beaten topic already uh, by the time we get into it, but yo, Destroy. this Joe Rogan shit. Yo, this Joe Rogan shit. <laughs> ah. You know, I hate to say it, but I never was really rooting for Ro uh, old Ro Jogan. Old Ro Jogan. <laughs> Ro Jogan. Yeah. Yeah, Ro Jogan. I, never, I never really was rooting for him. Shit. I, don't, I just, I don't know. I guess he's funny, you know, but. I usually root for everything black. I like some white comedians too, so I, I don't think it has anything to do with him being a white comedian. I just, I don't know. I like to be the last one to jump on somebody's bandwagon, and I never, I never really grabbed onto it. So I found myself like, yeah, duh. I can see. Yo, him. I'm so out of touch. Yeah, I'm so out of touch. Right, on? right. No, no. I mean, I, I know, oh, but I, I don't really know. I don't really, know, I don't really know who he is. Like, I, wasn't he like a? He was. He like founded the the MMA, right? Like. Um, not MMA, but uh, uh, yeah, UFC, UFC, got you. You know, yeah. he's the founder. Yeah, he he's a founder. He's a okay. Um, Dane, and he's I also Dane, Dane, Dana White or some shit. Dana White, yeah, and he's a, UFC too. Yeah. and he, and he's a he's a comedian as well. Yeah, he's a comedian. He's a huge oh. comedian. He's like, yo, put it like wow. this, yo. I, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, I like to listen to podcasts. Um, shout out to um, uh, um, Funches, Ron Funches. One of my favorite podcasts to listen to. Um, he's a comedian and an actor, and he has a lot of comedians and actors on his podcast talking about, huh. you know, their road, their road and their journey. Yo, Joe Rogan is your, he is your favorite comedian, favorite comedian. Oh wow, that you've never heard of, right? Like, he is your favorite comedian, comedian. So for, for folks who don't know or who maybe um, out of touch, like they said, Joe Rogan has a monster podcast where like he has. You know, of course, millions of listeners and subscribers and all this, all this shit, right? Um, you know, insanely famous. And they just put this mashup of a video, put out a mashup of a video where he's just like relentlessly saying the word nigger, you know? Mm. He's like not saying the N-word, you know, not using the term N-word. He's like actually nigger, 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 you know, like. Um, in a malicious, in a malicious, in a, in a malicious way, because ah, you know what I, was, I didn't watch the. I guess the yeah, they made like it? a montage of them, right? They made a montage yeah. of them, and yeah. uh, I didn't. No, nah, I didn't watch it. I didn't want to. I guess we'll get into that here shortly. 
but I didn't want to give it to, I didn't want to give it any energy anymore. I think that's the uh, campaign that I'm on right now. As far as that word is concerned, I think we put a lot of emphasis on a word when there's just so much more to actually concentrate on. And again, I think uh, the way I see it, we're just asking people to like us, <laughs> right? That don't give a fuck about us, right? So that, that whole assimilation shit is fucking dead to me. I just don't feel like um, that should even be part of our plight, you know, or, or even any talking points. Like, so we talked a little bit about Kaepernick and that whole, that whole move. And it's like, I, I, I you know, he basically uh, demonstrated a gesture that, oh, demonstrated a gesture, I'm sorry. He basically did something that was highly offensive to American citizens, right? And, as, and I, I, used, I was thinking like, well, what are we gonna prove? Or what are we gonna do with that? What, what, what's gonna happen as a result, right? Like, we're gonna, you know, we're showing these guys, hey, we're offended and we're not gonna take it anymore and they're gonna just follow suit, right? They don't give a fuck, right? So like I said, I don't understand how we're allowing it, we're giving any of that shit real energy and we're offended by it, you know what I'm saying? Wait, so um, you know I fuck oh, yeah, with, you know I fucks with uh with with what Kaepernick did, man. So when you say that it was highly offensive to Americans, and you're a, you're a, a twenty year uh, veteran, um, was it offensive to you? No, I mean no, 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 no. I mean that's what that's what that's what you serve for, man. You serve for that uh, freedom of speech, right? Um, ah, right. right. It, it is what it is, right? And it's and it's one of those things where it's like I get the gesture and I get the. Um, I get what you're trying to convey, right? I understand it completely, but I don't, I think the audience is wrong. <laughs> All right. Because it's like, you, you expect them to just be like, oh yeah, we get it now. You know what I mean? I, I, I just, you know, again, it, so these are folks that are perp uh, perpetrating, you know, these atrocities and, 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 and that oppression. So it's like, we're, oh yeah, you know, now we'll stop, you know, we get it. We, we understand. Um, again, yeah. I think we're looking in the wrong direction. We're looking at them as saviors and it's like, nah, man, we need to do for ourselves. Um, well, if so, anything, so, go ahead. I'm sorry. Nah, if anything, I mean, man, fuck the league. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the league, man. Start your own. Um, seriously. Well, so about uh, Joe. So with so with Joe so with uh Road Joe again, right? With this guy. Yeah. Um, and and the way that he was using the N word. I mean, you saw you saw the how much of the video did you see? Did you see enough? I didn't see it. I didn't see any of it. I didn't see any of it. I didn't, oh, see, I didn't see the ball. No, because it's no. like like I said. You I sent it to me. To, you sent it to no. me. No, I sent you the video of the apology. I didn't. I didn't send oh, you the montage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you for reminding me of that bullshit. Yeah. So yeah. the montage. I looked up the montage. Okay. So yeah, they. You know what he said in the apology is that somebody put together this compilation and tried to make it look bad, make him look bad. He's like, and it looked really bad. It does look really bad. You know. Um. I I just don't buy it. You know, I don't buy it. Mm. You know. And, mm. I just don't buy it, you know, and we'll get we'll get into this discussion later in our in our workout, but I don't buy his apology. And um, the video did look bad, and I don't see what's wrong with saying the N word. Why can't you just say the N word? Why do you uh, have to actually use the term nigger? Right? Why does huh. he? Why did he have to use the term nigger for shock and value? I mean, he's trying to well, up yeah. his views and his listening. But, but, he's but, trying to. But what? My bad. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I'm. I'm no, you, sorry. you get, you get, you get, you get my question. What, what is he doing? It for shock and awe. You know what I mean? Well, you got shocked, motherfucker, nigga. You got shocked, nigga. Here's yeah. The well, my my, awesome. my thing is, I, I don't, I don't. But I don't see why, why not? Why I don't not? see why you, you don't see don't, why he don't, can't say the n word. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't because. Um. All right. So let's talk a little bit about it. Let's talk about his origin. Um. It's more so. The way I see it, I mean, we created it. We created it. Everyone created this, right? And everything's created, of course, but we really made it into the monster that it, it is. Um, uh, Cause you can get offended by anything nowadays, right? And the way I see it is this, all right. It was actually, it's, it was actually like a slang term. It was used because I guess the Portuguese and the uh, Spaniards were, you know, they originated the slave trade. And Negro is a, is, a, is a Spanish term for black. And I guess it was misconstrued when they heard that, the term, like, the, I guess the Southern colonists, when they heard that term, uh, it, it turned into niggers, I guess. You know, it was, it, was, it was something that they couldn't pronounce. I don't know, man, go figure, right? But that's how that, that's where the, that's, to me, for my studies, that's where the, the origin of the word, uh, uh, you know, that's the origin of the word. So uh, when you look at that, okay, I get it, man. You know, slavery, this, that, and the third disparaging term 
a- anything that they did to us was was pretty much um, negative. You understand what I'm saying? So, but we choose that now to in this day and age to be offended by and to actually lose our sensibilities over. Um, I think it's it's still a word. It's just a word. Um, and if uh, we continue to give it energy, I mean, it's just basically like, yo, he, is he talking to me? Like, you know what I'm saying? If he's, if you believe he's talking to you, then he is, right? So it's one of those things where it's a, you know, you got to get into that mindset, man. It is just a word. I know a lot of people have died and fought for the right to, to not hear it anymore, not be called it. But uh, I think the more we give it energy, the you know, the, the, the further divided we get. I mean, after a while, man, when you start poking your little sister, right, and she just stops responding, you're like, oh, okay, that don't work no more. You know what I mean? I think it's just one of those things where, I, I, like, okay, like, have, you know, use it to your heart's content, man. It's not going to fuck with us anymore. It's not going to, you know, mess with our heads. It's not going to, you know, change our, our trajectories anymore, man. We're not going to, you know, fall victim to worse. Like, you know, I'll give you a little story of why this, this really hits home for me. Before, I, before, uh, you give me, before you give me that story, let's move on to our next set because I'm, I'm sitting idle. What we, um, okay. what we, uh, we move into we'll the do static? This. Uh, the yeah, we'll, you know, static. dumbbell up, remember? And this one down. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And then you're gonna just up, up, up. It's harder when it's down, right? You can keep it up if you want, or you can keep it down. All right. And then you alternate. All right. We're gonna all right, do the so twelve we got, uh, So we got the static, uh, the the flat bench, uh, static press, and we're doing. Yes, uh, you said 15, 12, 10, and then an eight drop set. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it. All right, so what's the story? Please, all right, all right. So, 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 going, so I want to hear this story you're going to tell. That's going to justify Ro Jogan, that guy no. Ro Jogan. But, 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 but no what more so. Got? Not, not Joe Rogan, man. Because you can't control people, man. You can't control what they do, right? These people are going to exist for the to the end of time, right? But what I'm saying is, I'm not controlling our response, right? Or, or, or you know, um, yeah, like how we react to this. So I, had, I was in this camp up in, um. Up in Maine, man, me and uh, 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 Ernest Brandon, right? We're up at this camp up in, uh, up in Maine. I forget the town, but I think it was called, the camp was called New Sport or something like that. Yep. And uh, pretty much uh, had a little altercation with one of the, one of the guys up there. Um, and uh, long story short, man, he turned around, he called me the word, blah, blah, blah. You know, things happen, whatever have you, right? So. When I'm in the, I, I guess they sent us to this judici, judiciary board, like basically to try to say, okay, uh, whether or not we're going to stay in the camp or try to resolve these issues or whatever. Um, and, you know, they basically gave Buddy the spiel like, yo, um, you know, what he said, what, what does word they use? Hick, like, do you know what a hick means? Like, and he's like, he's like, well, would you like being called that? I guess a hick is a term for like a townie or something like that. Somebody that's been somewhere forever and it's not going anywhere. I don't know, man. I really don't understand the significance of it. But when it, when the, when the hot lamp was on me, basically they were just, you know, kind of chastising me for my actions. Right. There was no, there was no sympathy. You understand what I'm saying? There was no sympathy. What were your actions? Oh, so they were chastising you for like the, your reacting. Yes. For reacting to it. And it was one of those things where they're, they're basically looking at me like, you know, um, I should know better. We don't condone this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like looking at this group of white men, right? And they're basically saying, I don't feel what you feel. This is not justified. You understand what I'm saying? I don't get it. But what you did was wrong. It didn't matter. And that was a wake up call for me because it was like, why am I going to allow myself to get, to get flustered by something like that that can get me into trouble in their world? They don't care. They don't give a fuck, man. They don't give a fuck about that word. They don't give a fuck about how it's used and how it hurts your feelings, man. They don't care. And you are accountable for your actions regardless. So how you, you know, how you react to it is, is important. It really is. And we have to stop giving it power because who are we crying to? Who are we crying to when we are hurt by these things? Who, are you ex- who do we want to pat on our heads and, and rub our back and tell us that it's okay? You understand what I'm saying? We're looking for them to say, you know, oh, yeah, man, yeah, that was wrong. That was terrible. We're going to, we're going to you know, uh, 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 we're going to punish to the, the fifth degree, you know, like, no, I mean, we, we're looking crazy out here. Right. So that's when I woke up and I said, man, I'm no longer going to give this term any power over me, man. I'm never going to put myself in a compromising position because there's people like there, like that, that exists everywhere. And, um, and they're going to, they're going to push our buttons, bro. They're going to get us. So again, I, so now that I'm hearing buddy say it, I really don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck at all. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it is what it is. I get it. It's a respect thing, right? It's one of those things where it's like, yo, you can't be saying this, but like, we got bigger fish to fry, real talk. Um, and, and if we're going to continue to put this monkey on our back, man, then uh, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure we're going to really make it too far. So it's like, look, let them have it. 
Let them have it, man. You know, these days, these kids say this shit. You know, so they, they call each other that like they call, they say, you know, like they say the word dude, right? So before we get there, before we before we get there, go ahead and get your set in. I already got two in. Um, All right. Let me go ahead and respond to this bullshit that you just said. No disrespect. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fuck, hey. no joking. Fuck any white person that wants to say nigger. That's my word. And we're going to talk about it in a little uh, little later. That's our word. It's not your word. All right? But nah. beyond that, but beyond that, beyond that, before we even get there, we'll get there in our second circuit. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't <laughs> no, no, no. Want it. It's my turn. It's my turn. Nope. It's my turn. All right. All right. Um, so before we even get there, okay, um, just don't say it. Just say N-word. You know what I'm saying? Like you're saying it on purpose because you know it's going to incite something out of a certain, um, a certain group of people. So that shows who you are and what you are. Whenever, you, whenever someone outside of our ethnicity uses the, the N-word and says nigga, especially white people, knowing the history, knowing of the history, even if you don't know the etymology of it, even if you don't feel it you don't feel what it does to us like you said right i get that right but you still use it strategically and on purpose because you're trying to excite a certain emotion you're trying to um you're trying to degenerate or you're trying to put down another group of people regardless of how you say it because there is an alternative ro jogan you could have said n-word you could have said that like like they're pushing and and and, and like black professors are even pushing this in college in uh classroom in, in, in universities, they're saying, look, don't, don't, say the, don't say nigger, use N-word, even though we're speaking about it objectively or we're speaking about it in terms of a topic or a subject, we're still just gonna use it as N-word because we don't know what kind of reaction it will, um, it, it will invoke, all right? Um, it invokes pain for certain people. You're saying, forget the pain. Okay, I can understand that. I can get that. You know, you're saying, don't let it make you react in a certain way. Okay, I can understand that. I can, I can get that. You gotta be the captain of your own fate and the master of your ship and all that shit, right? Um, I get that, right? Don't let these white folks get the best of you by just using one word and it makes you go into a fucking frenzy and prove that you're the monster, monstrous ape that they were trying to say that you are. I get that, I get that. But don't use the word, don't use the word because what happens if, uh, if a police officer who's supposed to be an upstanding um, law abiding person, they are enforcing the laws of this land. When a police officer approaches your car, if you act in a certain way, you will get treated in a certain way. You can call a police officer a pig all you want, but they're probably going to bust you upside your head with a baton. Or they're probably going to arrest you on some trumped up charges, right? So you can go ahead and say whatever you want to say in this supposed free land of of America with freedom of speech. But you call them, uh, you call a police officer a pig one too many times and see how long your ride home or you, you see, see how long your night ends up being, right? You can quickly turn a, 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 a polite traffic uh, stop into like a hospital visit if you keep using that word pig. You know why? Because you shouldn't do it. Because you know, like everybody in this country knows that to call a pig is, 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 is saying that they're an animal. It's saying that they... They're not human. It's dehumanizing them, a police officer and the, the position that they chose to, um, you know, their profession, you know, and they know you know that. And they know that you're trying to invoke a certain spirit out of them. So when you say that word, you usually get what, what is coming to you. And I feel the same way with white folk not saying N-word and saying nigger. No, you don't get to put an A on it. You don't get to do none of that shit. You could say N-word, you could say that. If you're trying to talk about it as a topic or subjectively or intellectually or for educational purposes like Joe Rogan was claiming, which the video, compilation video does not show. It just shows him smiling and saying nigga, nigga this and nigga that, right? Like he understands, right? That's what the compilation show, him being a fucking asshole, right? But if you want to talk about it subjectively in, in educational fashion, do it, but say N-word. Don't fucking say the word because when you walk outside of your, your podcast studio and get bust upside your face, you're going to want police officers who also might be niggas to protect you. You're going to want a, you're going to want a judge um, to, to uphold the law that you can't be assaulted for saying the word. And the judge might be a nigga too. Don't say it. Period. That's how I feel. Just don't say it. And it leads I, uh, me to my next question. My next question is why the fuck do they want to say it so bad? Why do they want to say um, it so okay. bad? I, I, so I love that. I love that. But let me just respond real quick. I'm going to just say, man, it's not our word. I don't think it's our word. It's just like soul food, how we appropriated, you know, we, we're basically celebrating soul food for what it is, you know, with the ingenuity of black folks to take the scraps of a pig and, or, or, or whatever animal beast of the land 
and actually make, you know, make it into a delicacy, right? It's something that we don't need to do anymore, okay? We don't need to appropriate anything negative and call it ours, bro. We don't have, we need to create new culture, okay? They can have that word. They can keep it. Why do they want to say it so bad, bro? And it's not even the fact that like, okay, I hate black people, man. It's just that you're not going to tell motherfuckers that created this land, okay, that created this fucking country for themselves that you can't do something. That's like, what it I is. Can't, Thank you. I can't, that's what it is. I can't. Right. So that's exactly. That's but again, if you, if, but if you know, if you know, if you have knowledge, if you, if, like I said, if you, if you're cognizant of the plight, it shouldn't fuck with you. Right. It, honestly, knowledge is power, man. And I, I don't. I don't, I don't feel like, you know, because I think part of us, you know, the reason why we hold so dear to it is because we feel like that's our get back. We feel like, okay, oh, he said that. Oh, he going to get fired. We want, we want some form of dominion when it comes to that shit. That's the last thing we want dominion over. You know, just, uh, I guess, intellectual property, bro. It's garbage. It's, it doesn't make sense to me. So, I get, again, I think the real, the premise of it all is like, you're not going to tell me what I can and cannot say. And obviously this man is, is somewhat rebellious. I mean, he started his own uh, 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 you know, fighting network or fighting uh, uh, league, whatever have you. And, you know, uh, basically he's brazen. But what I'm trying to say is that the man has cojones, man. He has balls. He's not going to, you know, he's, he's a go-getter. He's not a, he's not a, you know, he's not a lightweight dude. So uh, you're not going to tell a guy like that what to do and how to say or how to move, right? Until, yeah, we are. You know, public- yeah, we are. Uh, well, no, no, but no, no, yeah, no. I'm, t- I'm, talking, I'm, I'm talking about yeah, prior, are. prior. Let that I'm man, talking about let prior. That hold on, let hold on, man. man. Hold on, hold on. I'm let talking about man, prior. Let Joe Jogan with all his big Are you cojones bugging? who started, who started this UFC shit. No, you bugging. Let Joe Ro Jogan with his big cojones who started this fighting company. Let him step in the ring with one of these black dudes, one of these niggas that's busting niggas ass right now. Let him no, step in the I, ring with them right it's not now. A, it's, not a, it's not a physical and thing, let's homie. See that's, we that's, stop. Let's see if we can that's stop what, him. Right, but, but see, see that's the stop. thing. It's not uh, it, the physical. Like, we lose, we lose oh, boy, physically. Okay. We we lose physically. No, we don't, we don't uh, lose you know what I'm saying? We don't yes, we do. Physically. It doesn't no, make don't. sense because again, we, we lose. Don't. We lose as as we when we, we respond to these times. when we respond to these things in this negative in this negative term in this negative manner. I'm, so, like I said, take context of the story I gave you, bro. I was about to get kicked out of this, the camp you were, because you of what I child. said. I get child. it, but I was a, and I was about to get excommunicated, bro. Let that shit happen reacting. now. Let that shit happen I know, now. But I get it. it what happen? But, but, happen? but do you but do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Like it doesn't make sense to lose your sensibility for a word. Okay. I get that, My thing but you're is also this. telling me Are that you, have you been, you're telling me that have you been, should be able to say the word. Yes, I've been calling it no, nigga before. I think I think no 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 no. But the thing is our oppression is different than our fathers and different than our grandfathers, different than our great grandfathers. You understand what I'm saying? So so no, it's different, bro. We're not in front of fire hoses and German shepherds, man. You know what I mean? It's it's a different it's a different vibe right now. We have more say. We have more rights. We have more uh uh um what's the word influence? Okay, it's a little different. All right, um, it's not the same. So like for us to continuously feel uh a certain way about a word. Now we are talking about physical action, or we are talking about like uh you know systemic racism. Yeah, I mean that's fine. That's fine. And I think that they're doing just that. Right? People are responding the way they need to. Um, but again, to be able to, it, 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 depending on, like I said, like how, how much offense you take to the word. Cause I really, I really don't. I honestly, I got, um, the way I see it is just, it is a word. It's in our vocabulary. It's something that in, in our history, um, it's in, it's in American history. Um, and it's time to let, you know, sleeping dogs lie. Like it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it is what it is, man. It happened. Um, it happened in the past. And again, the, the longer we keep, you know, dwelling, cause they're not going to stop Jay. They're not gonna Hold stop. on one second. Hold on one second. Let's move on. Let's move on to the um, last part of this circuit. Um, the uh, uh, it, was it was your workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was your so, workout. Um, so it'll be the um the dumbbell fly. We're gonna do it on a flat bench, right? And um, we're gonna do halfway up. So when in a normal fly, let me see. Let me see. Normal fly. A normal fly, you'll come right here, and then uh-huh. you'll come up here, right? Right. Instead of coming all the yeah. way up and letting those uh those dumbbells touch like that. We're gonna stay yeah, yeah, yeah. right here. Oh, uh, partial, 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 partial. Yeah, yeah, a little halfway up. Yes. Yeah. Right? right. You're gonna feel that on the outside of your pet. And ooh, you know, when you get up off the bench, you're gonna feel like, you know, you ever see them do where they be, they walk around like this, so you know that they just worked out. With an <laughs> imaginary lat syndrome and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. imaginary <laughs> lat syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, a lat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one is a good one. I just, right. I don't like, I don't like that you, yo, I get it. I get it. You're saying, 
You're saying every time a, a white person calls you a nigga or says the word nigga, you can't run around punching in the face because it's going to be the opposite of progress. We're going to be put in jail and it's going to rape our pockets and rape our families and all that shit, right? I, I know we got their buttons. That. We got right. their buttons. You know, they, 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 what we you got mean? their buttons. No, what I mean is they they oh they, they can't they, 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 they can't push our buttons. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. And and, and they're already doing it. They're already doing but we, what it. You and, said, but what you said, what you said was too far left. What you said was um he should be able to say the word. Yeah, I think anybody oh, should. I think anybody oh, should. I, I think I think like like again, what are we what are we holding dear to? You know what I'm saying? What are we really like what like like, like honestly, what like what is you're going to tell a group of people, you're going to tell a mass of people, the rest of the world, you cannot say this because, you know, you know like, oh, you cannot use this term. I mean, uh, that's going yeah. to, I mean, honestly, you, you can't stop that. Again, you can basically say, okay, you can do exactly what's happening. You can hurt their pockets. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You can respond. You can respond. But like to tell uh, uh, to the mass, the world that, hey, man, that word is off limits for good. That's just not, that's not realistic. It really isn't. I think it's, I we all react. We all react to stimulus in this in this world, like there's things that happen that you have to just react to, and that's just gonna one of those things that that's gonna stay. We can't control that. You hey, know what I mean? We're in, not gonna folks, have a monopoly. Folks, of it. folks, folks in West Africa, um, in say 1496, they didn't think it was realistic that they would be sold into slavery or they would be captured. Um, they right. didn't think that was that was gonna happen. Or Martin Luther King and, and them folks, they didn't think they thought it was just a dream. I think they thought it was just a dream. He was like, yo, I had a dream last night. I woke up, ate some oatmeal, was like, nigga, you was tripping. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't reality. What the reality is, white folks, you can't say nigga. All right, period. All right. Now, um, and 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 if we allow them to keep saying that, and we allow them to, it I I, I liken it unto um what is it that the, that your boy did? Um that not your boy, but what is the the Nazi dude did with the Nazi regime. He was the minister of um, intelligence or whatever. Um, oh, Goebbels, communication. Goebbels. Go Goebbels. Go Goebbels, right? Goebbels. And we allow white folks or anybody to, uh, to, to use the word nigga and even call us nigga, right? Nigger, right? Then it's, it's kind of the same thing that Goebbels did. They start thinking in their mind because they have an idea of what a nigger is. The only people who don't sincerely have an idea like are, are not just rooted in this one idea of what nigger is, it's us. That's why it's our word, right? It's about power. White folks want to be able to tell us what to do. And as long as we hold on to the word nigga and say they can't use it, they feel powerless. That's why they want to use it. So somebody, I, I, I know people, I know people, I, or I have known people, um, white folks, good folks who aren't racist and they're down for the cause. And they still ask me, well, I listen to hip hop. Why can't I say nigga? I'm not saying nigger. I'm saying nigga. Why can't I say it? You can't, it, for one, that shows, just by asking that question, that shows that you don't understand enough history to even say the word. And for two, they want to say it, maybe not because they're racist, probably are, but they want to say it because they want to have the power to say it. They want to be able to control their entire universe like they thought they could with natives, like they thought they could with people from Zimbabwe, like they thought they could in fucking Rwanda, like they think they can here in Atlanta. White folks have a problem not being in control. And when black people hold on to the word nigga and say, regardless of what you say, oh yeah, like you were gonna say, white people say this all the time. They say it in rap music. Every time I turn around, there's somebody saying it. Like, um, you remember the, um, the episode of, uh, of uh, Boondocks where um, the white guy, the teacher, this was based on a real story, but not a fact. Um, but the white guy, the teacher in Boondocks is like, I didn't say nigger, I said nigga. And he uses it all the time. Nigga this, nigga that, nigga please. He said one time, he raised his hand and said, hey, can a, can a nigga borrow a, a whatever? And he said, I didn't think to myself, how, um, what did he say, can a, I can't remember what he said. How, can a, if you would ask me, can a nigga borrow or such and such? He said, I didn't think to myself, oh God, he used the word, the N word. I thought to myself, how is a nigga gonna borrow such and such? You know what I'm saying? Like, why people want to use the word, bro, because they can't. That's why. And we need to yeah. hold on to this word. We need to hold on to it. Like, you talking about soul food? Soul food is fucking great. Now, it does damage our bodies because our bodies are a little genetically different, right? We need to stop cooking with so much lard and so much grease. But I think everybody in America, everybody anywhere would say that fried chicken tastes fucking great, especially in grandmama's recipe, right? So Delicious. they want us, they want the recipe. They want us to give grandma's recipe to the fried chicken. And then at the same time, they're telling us don't eat fried chicken because it's not gluten free. You got to be gluten free flour. You know, it's bad for you. But they still want that fucking recipe, don't they? You feel me? Like, it's our power. 
It's our um, power. And if we allow these see, motherfuckers to say it, not only are they going to use it to try to subjugate us again and put us in our place and make us think their version of the word, then they're going to be able to say it and they take our power. See, decided, I think, I think, I, I've I think, decided that I'm saying nigger more. That's from, from our conversations that we've had, I've decided that I'm going to start saying nigger more. On our last podcast, that's why I didn't say it because I was saving it. I'm going to start saying nigger more. You know why? Because it makes white people uncomfortable. It reminds them of what their people did. And they hate that shit. They hate no. it. They hate I think, it. I think, I think I know where the, the, the root of our disagreements comes from. I think Wait. your your interpretation of what power is is totally different than what mine is. Um, so? Again, yeah, because look, I'm not worried about them. Okay, <laughs> I'm really not. Again, I keep I keep bringing up the analogy. Like I'm crying to the same guy that's spanking me to 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 save me. Like please get me out of this. Please, is you know, respect. You think, us. Is that what you think? Us telling by telling Ro joking that he can't say the N word. You think that's us asking him to say? Well, us? because he, well, when you talk about holding on to power, you talk about actually saying that this is ours. You cannot say this. Yes. This is our power. Again, I, I don't believe that that's power. I think what power is is like okay. So honestly, this is what I, I see. Like you got a dog that has a shot collar, okay, on, and every time he passes this 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 force field, it goes off. It goes off. When that battery dies. You understand what I'm saying? When that battery dies and he can, you know, and he's, he's testing the waters and he goes over, you know, across that, 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 that plane and it's no longer working. You know what I mean? I think that's power. I think that's power right there. I think that's like, okay, now we got to find new buttons to push because obviously that doesn't rile them up anymore. That they are far beyond that plane to where this is something that bothers them and affects their normal being and their ways of, of being, you know what I'm saying? Like you really think that like a lot of these, you think the same discussion happens in any other culture as far as what they call these people. Now I get it, I've, the oppression of slavery is a lot different than any other atrocity in this world. But do you really think that these people have those conversations to this magnitude about what they're called? No, yes. they just show it, they no, I, I don't. I disagree, I think they show and prove because what they Absolutely. believe that they are, now hear me up, this is a segue. I got what, I they, what, what they believe that they are is more important than what anybody else does. Okay, so yes. that's why I'm sitting here Not saying accurate. that we need, to, we, need to we need to take we need to take power away from that word and stop calling each other that shit as well because I think we're just perpetuating that same white supremacy that you're talking about that same shit that we're calling each other that shit if it's their origin if it was if it, it began with them and that hurts so bad why the fuck do we look at each other and say that shit to each other and call each other that if it's so wrong for somebody else to say it then why the fuck do we do it now I get it's, it's appropriating it's, it's collard green because it's, it's soul food. As, as bad as eating too much soul food may be for um, a black body, you, you cannot deny the fact that soul food brings families together. Thanksgiving, you may see, I, I used to, I didn't see my dad like, but maybe five times a year. Uh, but on Thanksgiving, I knew that was one of those five times. And that was soul food. Soul food is, uh, is just like the word nigga, in my opinion, right? And, and we cannot, and this is what, what you said about other cultures and other people, they, they're more concerned about how they view themselves and how, um, say, white people perceive them. This is not true. You cannot use, I literally on this podcast in this very moment have to say the C word. I can't say C-U-N-T. I can't say that word, right? Because the few little followers that we have, I'm going to offend them and they'll stop following. Women control that word, right? They have decided that that is a horrible word. Or say, let's take for instance, the, um, the word bitch. A man can't call no woman a bitch, period. But a woman can call another woman a bitch and it's playful. They own that word because it's been used to try to subjugate them. Let somebody use the F word denoting oh, a, a gay person. Let somebody use the F word denoting a gay, a gay person. They're going to get canceled faster than a bad, um, a bad movie on Netflix. You feel me? Like, they, they c control that word. Now, can they call each other? Can a homosexual call another homosexual F if they have that kind of rapport? Yeah, of course they can because they control that power. Black people are the only ones that they don't want to have control over their, uh, their negative pejorative. Um, they don't want us to have power. Yeah, it's well, the same thing. Well, how, would you, well, how would you feel, I, I, I if, how would you feel if some white lady was um was making a how how, how do you feel about the white uh, companies, white restaurants that are making like um they're making millions of dollars off of uh, some black people's soul food recipe? You don't feel like they stole power in that sense? Well, this is the thing. As far as as far as as far as power, so I, I don't believe in any of the any restriction on any word, man. Honestly, um, and so that's I think that's where that's the root of it too. That's another part of it. I don't believe in any of those. Uh, uh, barriers. I don't believe in any of those um, uh, those restrictions, man. I mean, a, a word no. is a word. I think intent, intent is everything, right? Intent is everything, like uh, in context, right? 
Um, and I, like I said, you know what I told you about the the little mishap that I had, you know, with with with, with some with with, with, a, with a gentleman uh, yeah, 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 about yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to tell the story because it's, it's okay. pointless, right? right? Honestly, right. but see the other the, the other part about it is this: I uh, the reason why I'm not I'm 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 not opposed to you know people saying it because honestly I'm all about intent, right? And if I know that this guy's using it, you know, uh, uh, for for you know ill intent, I mean, at least I, I at least I like to know who's on my side and who's not. Honestly, um, I, I hate okay. you know folks that are undercover or whatever, and they, they they're trying to play you. Yeah, and, you don't and know. Pretend that they like you, right? So honestly, that's why I said that's that's part of it. I like to I like to know who's who's on my side and who isn't. So um, I again, I'm not opposed to a word. Now, when it's when it comes down to like getting loans and you know trying to start a business and you're oppressed in that matter, you know because of race, yeah, man, that's that's far more important to me and call a nigga. Um, let me, so let me that, okay. So I got a I got another question for you, right? But before we ask that question, let's move on to our, our next question. All right. So all what, right. We, what we got next, Dave? All right. So we're gonna hit the cables now. All right. And we're gonna do an upper chest workout. And you know what's weird about this uh, workout is that when you do an upper chest on the cables, you start from the bottom up, right? Crazy, right? And that's Crazy. how you isolate the, the yes, yeah, how you isolate. So what you do is you got you know cables in each hand. All right. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up. And I like oh, to cross the my cross joint. The cross joint. Yeah, I like to cross over. That. I like to cross over because, I mean, I guess it's in my mind. I get a better range of motion. A lot of people say, "Man, they get they get it from right here," but for some reason, I just did that, and I'm doing this. I feel that more. All right? Yeah, That's I, just think, on me. I think I think it makes more sense to do that. Uh, like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Boom. And so that's the that's the workout. So the next the next setup, you know, you're just gonna put it at uh, shoulder length. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Show the height. Show the lane. Come on now. Show the height that. and come across the body. And then for the bottoms, you're going to come from the top and you're going to come down. All down right. Across. So All right, cool. simple as that. Simple as that. So, you know, Ooh. for you guys at home, for you guys at home that don't have cables, man, you could do a wide fly push up for this. Um, you could do a decline push up um, as well to kind of a. Uh, I, you know, incline for me. Oh, decline push-ups kind of get my upper chest. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can do a wide fly or a decline push-up uh, to kind of substitute these workouts here. Man. All right, if you don't have a cable set up at the house. But, yo, Ooh, that's a good so let's go back, in, let's go back yeah, yeah, yeah. into... So let, me, let, me, let me ask let you me, this thing, okay? Me, well, me, I want to add one thing. I wanted to add, right, I wanted to add one thing before we were finished, man. Right, so, so we, we, oh, oh, we're so doing we, sets of... Um, we're doing four sets. We're doing 15... 12, 10, and yes. then a drop set of eight, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, yes, so sir. we only got so, the, we only got these two um, cross cable motions. We only got these. No, two, we got the, we there, got the three. Right? It was three. Remember, what? so down, level, and above, and then and down. All right, got it. Cool. All right, yeah, here yeah. I go. Hey, what you got? So, um, you know, talking a little bit about we were talking about power, right? When you know we were talking about having that little sense of power left, um, by being able to say that word or not say, somebody did not say that word. I look at that as a symbolic victory, bro. Like kind of like Harriet on the 20 and like uh, Maya Angelou on the quarter, you know? Like you could have that, you can keep that. And that's why I think I'm so adamant about that. Like, I don't want that ability or power. That's not the power that I want and the power that I want for my people. I don't want to have dominion over some folk, you know, vocabulary word. You know what I mean? Um, I'd rather some land, I'd rather some businesses, I'd rather something real, I'd rather, you know? Um, you know, something that we're gonna take take and actually build with and, and create for our seeds, you know. So that's why I'm adamant about it, Jay. Because the thing is, it is slim pickings, right? And the thing is, that's why we just got to take back. And I get your plight. I get it. We're taking back dominion over that word. It starts with that. I understand that, but it's just a it's a losing battle. And I think we need to really put our efforts towards something substantial, something real. And uh, that's why I, you know the only reason I'm really tripping about it is because we spend a lot of time. <laughs> debating this and 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 you know going losing our minds about it you know guys are going to jail for for well, not going to jail but they're catching charges for like you know assault for things like this and you know the altercations you know arise from these things and guys are losing their you know their livelihoods and their families off the off the strength of a word you know what i mean so it's just like you know because again it is a word right somebody calls you some some bullshit they give you to flip you the bird while you're driving and shit you know it's like all right do you lose your do you lose your sensibility that's what because i want to ask that? you that's what my question you know? was going to be my question oh, is okay. be, now. Ah, I, I work out ah. buddies at home. Work out buddies, y'all have y'all don't know this. I'm about to peel back the curtain a little bit. Dave I... has like 
Dave has like incredible roll rage, right? Like ah, uh, come on, his his roll rage is ridiculous. All right, um, it's, in my opinion, his roll rage is ridiculous. Now he's uh, not, you know, we'll be on the phone and like we're mid sentence talking about talking about something very important, right? I'm talking about land on this tip or whatever the hell, whatever he just said. We're talking about some power moves like that. And next thing you know, he's like, God damn it, motherfucker, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just like it's that. Ther- I'm it's like, therapy. Like, what? It's therapy. What it's it's therapy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shout out to the homie Kenyatta. But she, she told me that's therapy for her. Her role range is tech therapy. But anyway, I'm like, what did I do? You know? But he's like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm to right? Me. I don't drive like that. You know what I mean? Like, I get upset. He's heard me get upset and shit. Like, but, man, come on, what the fuck? But, nah, I don't like screaming at the fucking, you know, I don't, I'm not doing that. All right. So, but, but, Release. so motherfucker cut you off. Motherfucker cut you off big time. Like, you remember the other day? He was like, no, like the school bus straight cutting me off, like right in front of me. Right. And I was like, okay, all right. Now, the school bus driver rolls down their window and you passing by and they see you like cursing at your Sarah wheel. And he is a dude. Redneck dude, he rolls down the window while you're passing him by. He's like, stay out of my way, you fucking nigger. Shit, but you know what's good for you? You mean to tell me that shit? So you, what you gonna say, it's not, it's not that he called you a nigger, it's that he just, you know, said, he challenged you as a man, not as a black man. Is that what you gonna say? You're not gonna want, yeah, you, think, you know what I mean? I think, yeah, I think the same, you know, the, the feeling remains the same um, as far as it all concerned, like, as far as the whole altercation, right? Like, I'm already upset that he, he, he did what he did and then, like, you know, like I said, he decided to, um, I guess, to confront me. I don't think, you know, I don't think the word makes it any worse, if that makes sense. Um, at least I'm not going to allow it to. Because, um, again, I'm already mad about the, the action of, you know, possibly, you know, uh, risking my life or whatever. You know, this guy's in like a, a 10 ton, you know, weapon and, you know, driving it irresponsibly. So I think that's more, that's affecting my uh, sensibilities more than the word. Um, so I'm already heated from that altercation. So it's just like, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not going to allow that to, to escalate the matter. Um, because it really isn't about that. It's about my life or whatever have you. So, but that, but yeah, no, 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 no. Using the N-word, him calling you a nigga is definitely going to give more of the power of Thor on his chin, right? Like if he just cut you off and you got out and he's like, mm-hmm. you, you might, and he's like challenged you as a man, you look at him, he's all pot belly and he's all knock knees. And his arms was too too short to box with the goddamn day. And he's like, what? You know, that's one thing. But if he uttered the word nigga when he get off that bus, then you like, you probably, you know, you, you might look at him if he challenged your manhood to say, this isn't a man. I don't, I'm not, I don't have anything to prove by beating this, this old fat racist. You know, I mean, this old fat dude, right? I don't have nothing to beat. Either. But then right when you're talking yourself out of it, the dude says, yeah, you better back up nigga. You mean to tell uh, me uh, that's not going to bring the power of Thor, lightning God, and stuff? Like, ah. Nah, nah, because uh, you know what? I also real shit. Like, how is that going to further me or us? Like, real talk. Like, so you talk, you talk about me. You clown me right now about my real rage. And it really is therapy because I let it out. You know what I'm saying? I actually just like, ah, oh, you know, this is bullshit because I need to fix it. <laughs> I need to fix it. But it's, you know, if I, if I, if I vent, then it's gone, right? It's that and then it's over with. Um, so... Again, I, and it's hard for me not to give to give that shit power because, again, my life is on the line every time I drive, you know, so um, and I drive, you know, quite, you know, a significant distance every day. So um, I'm dealing with that on a regular basis. So I'm thinking more on that level. But like as far as uh, the, the, the N word, it's not life or death. It really see, isn't. It's not worth- I feel like it is like it is historically the N word has been life or death. You know that. And that's that's my point. For who? Like the, the for who, though? For who? For who? who? You for niggas. For but why though? Why? Why now? Why now? They want to listen to niggas. I don't even but, but say not the word. Now? I don't even say the word picnic because that's where it stems from. Pick a nigga. These motherfuckers would string us up for just saying, not saying ma'am to a white woman, and then they would go pick off parts of the after they hung us. It, that wasn't good enough. They would pick off pieces of our fingers and shit and keep them as mementos. The pick a nigga for y'all that don't know. Check your history. So, Say so the word, so the, so the word, so the word is synonymous with the action. Is that what you're saying? White folks can't say it. Yes, it, 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 the, when a white person says it, it brings up an emotional, uh, an emotional memory of racism. They need to not and if they, say it. And, and if I don't they say it in what way? But okay, so it doesn't. It doesn't bring that up when when we say it. 
No, and that's the power of it. They people are baffled. They're studying. It's great. It's great. I think it's fucking amazing, my nigga. You see? I think it's and when I, me just saying my nigga. Me just saying my nigga means brother. It means comrade. You know, uh, Mexicans no, have a not, word. Not to me. Not to me. Okay. Well, yo, know, look. My not brother is the same way. One of my brothers is the same way. I have, I have uh, I, uh, one of my brothers. He's like, don't call me nigga. Don't say that. I don't like that. Right. When he first said it, said that to me, he meant it like since like seriously. He was upset. And I was like, bet, I won't say it to you, right? Now, sometimes right. I slip up and I say it to him, right? So we hang out quite yeah. often. I'll slip up and say it to him. And he's like, you know this. I don't like that word, you know? But the first time, yeah. he checked me. I already know who you're I, talking about, too. <laughs> yeah, and I'm comfortable with that. If a Black person tells me that they don't want me to um, use the word around them or to them, I'm not going to use it, sir. I'll call you brother. No problem. At the same mm-hmm. time, at the same time, I bet not catch no white motherfucker saying that shit. I don't care how cool we are. Right? Now, we no, have power no. in the word. Wait, but let me finish. We have power in the word. It, it's so much power in the word that we have redefined it that it can mean a plethora of things. When we use it, when we use it, it, it has it has it means a plethora of things. But when a white person uses it, it means racism. That's it. Period. Those yeah. are the rules, white folks. Period. Period. And we all need to be on the same page with this. We all need to be on the same page with this. I, I you know, you 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 uh, yeah, I, I you know, again. I'm not going to ever say don't use it around me because I'm basically condoning it for every, everyone's use, right? Um, but I just don't believe that it is a term of endearment either. Um, again, it's just drawing our straws, man. We picked something that we felt like, you know, um, we could hold dominion over and we, we're, we're, we're hanging. There's so many much more, there's so many, you know, more important things that we should hold dear to. I think when I mean, the whole point of me being this way is trying to re- reestablish culture, okay? Because the culture that we have now, we hold dear to derived from an ugly place. And this is all about a restart for me. It's all about doing something different and just kind of erasing that, um, that negative stigma uh, with that word and allowing it to trigger us. You know, it, again, we talk, about, we talk about therapy and we talk about, you know, being, understanding what gets us to a certain, you know, to, to, you know gets us riled up or gets us there. And again, a therapist doesn't fix it. He just enlightens us of what what actually gets us there, what the root of our issues are. And I think this is part of it. This is part of it for me. And I think if we were to just stop and think about it for a second and to say, look, well, why are we allowing this to, to inflict so much turmoil, especially this day and age? I get it, man. You, I got, I got a love and, you know, great admiration for our ancestors and what they've done and the, you know, the, the steps that they've taken to, to kind of erase that from our vocabulary. But you think they will be proud that we, we appropriated it and and use it, and we use it as a term of day. We throw it around so cavalier. That's Ooh, a great really question. That's a really great question. It? Great question. So, um, Richard Pryor, one of the primary proponents of using the, the word nigger in front of white people. I was hoping that was a white person behind me. I was gonna say it again. One of the primary yeah. proponents of saying Jeez. nigger on stage in front of um, white folks, white folks paying him to hear him uh, say the word nigger. His daughter, her name is Elizabeth Stroder. Um, right, uh, Pryor, Elizabeth Stroder Pryor. She's a, a professor. Um, she did a whole dissertation on the etymology of the uh, of the N word. Um, she's one of the professors that says, "Say N word, don't say nigger." Right? Mm. Shows the history of it. Uh, really originated like in seventeen something, the eighteenth century. Right? Black people right. use the word nigger too. Then, yes, they would they would use the N word to de- to have a different denotation or connotation than um, white people did. So to answer your question, yeah. I mean, they may have, they may take offense to it, but I think they understood too, you know? Like, yeah, I think Martin Luther King used the N word. I, I think, I'm pretty sure Malcolm X, when he, at least when he was Detroit Red, pretty sure he used the N word, I uh, said nigga. Um, like I can uh, say I, to I, you, I, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so well, you, you, you said when he was who? When he was who? I said at least when he was Detroit Red. But yeah, I, I, they. Or I think my, I think I think um, El, El, El Haj, I think what he when he went to Mecca and when he, when he started preaching, I think he would probably use the um, the word nigga in a different sense in front of people. Like he would say, "Don't you're, you're a motherfucking nigga." Like if I say he's a motherfucking nigga, right? Black people understand the difference between that and a white person just saying nigga. If I say that's my motherfucking nigga, it's different. Don't be a motherfucking nigga. That's my motherfucking nigga. Same shit, different connotation. At the, I don't at think the we, bottom of, what? I, I just don't think we get too. I don't think we get far enough holding on to, uh, you know, something of, uh, you know, it's, again, it's not even ours. It's not even it ours. Is. Why would we want to? Why would we want to take it? 
Why would we want to take that we with us? We, we owned it. I'm so proud I, of us for it too. I'm so proud of us for it. I think it's a white, it's a white, it's a European, a white American phenomenon to make black people ashamed to use the word nigger. It's they not ashamed want. though. They're ashamed. What Nobody's ashamed. What is it? I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. It's not a matter of ashamed. It's just like it's 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 the energy, bro. It's not being ashamed. There is a positive you know energy saying? in the word nigger. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's a positive energy but amongst black people in the word nigger. Absolutely. I, you love know, hip hop music. You be like, yeah, yo, I that get it. Dope. Like, come on, bro. You say when you're talking about Nas with somebody, you say, yo, that nigga dope. There's a positive energy in black speech when it comes to the word nigga. Like, uh, how can how dare you say that? And, and then and then and then it and then it flips when you got beef with them, and then it's just like, yes. let's get them niggas. Like niggas yes. greed like us. Let's kill these yes. niggas. Come on, man. Yep. Nah, man. Yep. That shit don't make yep. sense, man. Like, you're thinking I, about I, it again, from a European I, perspective. You're not thinking about no, it as a nigga. It's not about it's not about European. It's just like it has nothing to do with European. It has nothing it to do with it. It's more so, like I said, like it's it, it's I'm not I'm not I'm not viewing us from their lens. I'm I'm seeing it from within. Like if 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 it, if this if this creates drama within, like, I mean sorry, if it creates drama with a whole group of people, if it creates that kind of drama. You know what I mean? If it if it if it hurts so much, if it's if it gets to the point where I'm raising, I put my hands on you. I'm, I'm pulling out weapons. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you, why, 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 why? Like, why, why don't you? You know, like, no, but why, why go that far? Like, I see this this bigger fish to fry. There's bigger things that are actually oppressing us than that word that we should take action upon than that. You I know mean, what I mean? Is this, you're so is it, is it, is it, baby, don't go is it baby steps? Is it baby steps? Is this like okay, the first thing we take over, and then it's the next thing? Uh, We've taken over a lot, though. Let's be let's be real. Uh, like you, you want to talk about land? You want to talk about ownership? Like we we were just talking about the um the Fat Tuesday, right? The a documentary um how uh mm-hmm. Guy T, how Guy Tory took over a whole Tuesday night. He was fucking saving um the comedy uh the comedy yeah. store. His one night yeah. was saving Mitzi's uh Mitzi Short store, right? Um, we're taking over a lot. Um, you know, I'm watching a documentary earlier this week because that's what y'all should be doing, at least for Black History, is watching everything Black. Like, subscribe, comment, because this is Black too. Um, I'm, I'm watching a documentary a couple days ago about um, Black on television, and we're talking about how it went from fucking, um, was Amos and Andy white and Blackface? I think they were, right? Amos and Andy? I think I'm pretty sure. Uh, white and Blackface. And it goes from there to actually having Black people on TV. And you have all of these Black comedians and actors who are sitting down for the documentary talking about, like, they didn't care. A lot of them didn't even care what the depiction was of black people, as long as we were on TV, because they saw the plot. It was a victory. Take over. It was a victory. Yeah, it, it was, was a victory. victory. Yeah, it was a victory, yeah. right? Right. Mm-hmm. Wait, there is what my, my my overall conclusion with the with the word nigger is that there is no real inner turmoil when it comes to the black community saying nigger. There's no real turmoil. That turmoil is external it comes from white mm-hmm. people being able it comes from white people being able to say y'all uh-uh, say it uh-uh. Listen, no 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 no, comes, no 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 so i gotta stop what, you here i gotta stop you i gotta stop it you comes here. from white people saying here. y'all say it so Negative. we should be able to say it that's Negative. why that's the only tell, oil you're, that telling, we you're telling me you're telling me let me tell you okay so you talked about in 2007 the naacp had a funeral for the word right there's older gen this there's an older generation Jay, there's an older generation that has that that are that are definitely they're adamant about us not saying it to each other, brother. Like there that's is they were you called, can't because they were called niggas. But, but, but yeah, but you can't forget them. All right, so that's still inner turmoil. That is still inner turmoil, right? So you you're looking at it from your lens and your perspective as a young man. You know what I'm saying, ambitious man. You know what I'm saying, full of full of vigor, full of you know you know rebellious spirit. Okay, but you got to think about those folks that were oppressed. My mom. And my dad is you. still alive. I, I Your mom you, and dad are still alive. I hear you. I hear you. You're, but you're still not listening to what I'm saying. Those old people, why do they not want us to say nigger? Give me the answer. Why don't they want us to say nigger? Because they think it's ugly. And they, they, they can't understand why. Why, why do they think it's ugly? Why do they think it's ugly? Right, right, right. Because they couldn't understand people, why something say that Say the hurt. word. Because wait, white wait, people wait. They, can't, they can't understand why something, you know, that was said so long to hurt the folks. answer. He, who hurt folks? Who used it? white yeah. people yeah, yeah it's okay. external it's external they don't want to use the word because well, it's external well, well the word originated externally yes but what i'm what well, i'm telling you is inter- you said this but I, no i'm just answering your question i'm not answering but i'm, I'm, I'm rebutting what you said 
You said that there is no internal turmoil, which there is. There is. It com- no, it's it not is from the internal turmoil. It, can't, it comes from the external. Because the reason they don't want us to use it, those old, whoever you're talking about, is because of right. the argument, white, because of white people's argument. We can, we could, should be able to use it because y'all use it. That's it. That's it. They may say it was hurtful. They may say it was hurtful when white people called us nigger. It was hurtful when the um, German shepherd bit me on the calf and he said, get him nigger. All of that was hurtful. But that is no, it wasn't hurtful because black people called him nigger. It was hurtful because white people called him nigger. It's an external conflict. It's not an internal okay. conflict. If I'm no, up to, again, I could walk up to this black man right behind me and be like, yo, what up, my nigga? He'd be like, what up, my nigga? Or he could say, what's up, brother? And I'll know, okay, don't call him nigga. But he's not going to try to cancel. He's not going to try to cancel me and be like, yo, I don't fuck with him because he called me nigga. That's not a real conflict. All right, go ahead. I'm listening. Well, well you know, again, the origin of, yeah, of course, we didn't start. <laughs> we didn't start this word calling each other that. And then, you know, it, it yeah, of course, it started from them, bro. Like, yeah, that's the origin. I'm just saying that as a result, these guys fought and they and they they pretty much, you know, they you know, they bent over backwards to make sure that we don't ever hear that again. Um, again, I'm not trying to say that it should just not be said whatsoever or between people, whatever I, you know, again, I just I'm I'm a star, I'm just basically saying that we should stop giving as much energy as it's yeah, getting. Said, that's we shouldn't we shouldn't be fighting folks about it. But should we, we and you and you but you also saying that Rojo Rojo Jogan should be able to uh to say it also. Well, anybody should yeah, be able well, to say it. Well, anybody, anybody should be able to say it as, as, as far as the, you know, as long as the intent is, is, is pure, right? Like, again, if you're off the, like, you know what? And, and you know what? It, that doesn't even matter, really, because, like, you know, you look at these dudes, you know, you look at these guys, these, uh, these, these, these clan, I don't know what they call them, but these clan leaders or whatever, or, or whatever they say, you know, they're a lot, they, they, they do it out in the open. It's not like a big deal. You know, they got nothing to lose, right? They wear their hoods and, you know, they stay subdued, right? But like, it, it again, it's, it's, it's not outlawed, okay? You can't go to prison for it. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a word in our vocabulary. It's something that we learn to live with. It's just like now it's, we need to learn to not really give it much, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, like I said before, much energy. It's just, okay, I get it. It's here, um, but you know, I'm gonna get mad every time. I'm gonna get pissed off every time. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna lose my shit every time. I, I just, mm, it's a waste uh, of time. Nah, 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 nah. It is. It's a waste of time to lose your shit every single time a white person says, uh, uh, says "nigger," right? Because honestly, man, like, if we have, if every black child had a, a dollar for every time a white person said "nigger" in privacy, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about childcare for our kids, right? Well, <laughs> Reparations. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You feel me? So yeah, it, it's not a, it's not. I agree with you on the sense that we can't give them enough power to, we can't give them our energy and our power to be like trying to fight them and shoot them and all this other shit, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. However, I definitely do not agree that we should be saying, okay, well, say what you want to say, because at the end of the day, if somebody calls your daughter a nigga or calls your wife a nigga, that's just gonna hit you in a different way than if they just called you. A but, we, but we've been there. Or, we've been there. We've been there, Jay. We've been there. And the thing is, yeah. because of social media, because of the way, it, 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 you know, everyone hides behind, um, they hide behind that, that, that the veil. Um, what, what am I to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? Like, right? Like, uh, I'm going to go, I'm well, going to go do an IP, I'm going to do an IP search. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, all right, you know, like, you're, you guys are losers. You got to think that you're, you're, you're some, you, you know, like you're losing, you're losing because that don't work no more. That's all I'm talking like, We just we can't have we can't work. have people. I'm just saying we can't have white people who have millions and millions of subscribers thinking that they could say say nigger like period. I, we can't. I got you. I got you. I, and and, and you know, said, and yo. I do agree. I do agree with the fact that it's like okay, now it's so cavalier. I get away with what I want. It's almost like you know, like the how the the, the, the vibe that the Trump administration kind of like rolled uh, in with. You know what I'm saying? Like we do what we want. This is ours. Um, but again, I, like I said, intent. Means, in, intent, intent means everything to me. Like again, did he mean it in that? I guess I got to go back and watch the, the montage. But you know, the way the media flips things, they make they probably made it seem like he was just public enemy number one for sure. I know they did. I mean, because there's no, you know, why would they, <laughs> that's where the controversy stems from? So um, it made him probably they manipulated him to make him look, the, you know, the worst he could possibly look. So why people? Um, why people? But look at my face. But, intent don't you know, matter. Don't <laughs> say nigger. <laughs> say n word. We'll yeah, he's gonna be at your. It's gonna be at your doorstep. <laughs> no, nah, not me. Not me, but you don't don't let that look. So what about blackface? What about blackface? What if uh uh what of these what if um Rojogan, if um 
you know, he's running for government. Or Ro Dogan is who he is now. And uh, a video appears of him dressing up in, for Halloween in college in blackface. That's cool. Hey, this is because they ain't, ain't hurting nobody. This, this, it's this free here, world. I think I'm gonna end it on this, right? I, I, like the whole Joe Rogan thing, right? I'm gonna just end it here. This, I'm gonna end it. Like, so if if Joe Rogan says what he wants and he, he does the blackface and he does all of that and he has what 10 million followers now and after he does that he has 15 million followers then it might be okay what the fuck's going on okay <laughs> then i'll be a little bit shaken right cuz you got to let the you got to let the masses do the work right you can't you know what, what you going to do about it? you we talk about cancel culture right we talk about all this stuff it's one of those things where um, yeah, you just don't support or, you know, you hurt his pockets, right? Because, you, you know, you're not going to do anything physically to this man. You're not going to do anything crazy, right? And it's not against the law. You're just going to hurt his pockets. But again, that's something to take notice. Like if he decides to do what he wants. And again, that's the, that's the, that's the temperature, right? That's the, the, that's the pulse of the nation, right? That's actually seeing how we are, where we are, and how much, you know, how much progression have we, you know, or how far we really have come. If he has 10 million followers now and he went and carried on and he did all those things that he wanted to do as far as that, and now he has 15 million followers, then that'd be something to kind of like, uh, you know, kind of watch and, and be a little bit appalled, right? But again, you got to let, you got to let, you got to let fate work. You got to, you know, you, I, I, I want to, what is his following now? Like, how's he look now? Like, what's going on now as a result of this, 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 this uh, controversy? Don't I don't matter. know. Like I said, I'm not, you know. Don't matter. Off with his head. We don't want him no more. Yeah. White folks, white people, I want to hold them up. We should hold them up over our heads and say, white people, like Pat Williams said, white people, is this your shit? Take them. We don't want them. Yeah. And yeah. if y'all want them, any of y'all that want them, we don't fuck with you either. Don't say nigger. It's like, I mean, what do you, what's your point? Why you want to say it so bad, my B? Yeah, so let me ask you this. No, you actually this. You ever had a white friend that you uh, that you gave the past? No, no. And I had black, black Never? white friends. Never. Tell me wow. about your white friend that you want to give a pass to. Let's we'll shout him out. Well, never. No, I'm this, talking about this, I had white this. boys that can spit too. White boys that can rap and shit. White boys that date black chicks. Never. You got to think. There's no past. There's, to me, there's no past. A past doesn't Ooh. exist. Because there's no, Ooh. there's no, there's no boundary for me. There's no boundary. I like to know if you feel that way. I want to know, man. <laughs> you know well, what you mean? There's no past? Because you say everybody should be able to say it. So if you got a white, no, friend, no, no I, get, I get it. So there is no pass. There's no. I don't have an authority to give anybody a pass. Is what I'm trying you to do, tell you, man. Own your power. A pass Own doesn't. A pass doesn't exist. Again, I have. I you know. I teach people to treat. You know how to. You know how to treat me, right? And that's yeah. not one of those things where I feel like okay. Um, like I said, the intent. The intent. I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you about that joke. Yeah. That was you know being told in my presence. I had to stop that because they did not know. I know this sounds crazy, but they didn't know where I stood with it, and I felt like okay. The way you used it, okay, because saying the word is something totally different than the way you're using it. So he basically, you know, he basically character, characterized, I mean, I'm sorry, he basically called a black man a nigga. That's just basically what he said. That, that, you know, the long story short. And uh, that was okay. That was okay with everybody in the room. That was okay with everybody listening. Um, and that was one of those things where it's like, okay, I see where we are right now. It's like, I, right, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is where I'm at. The word usage is something else, but characterizing somebody as that is different. Like actually Ooh. calling the man, you know what I'm so saying? Calling saying the man. Saying the word is from call. Okay. That's why I said intent, 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 intent. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm. That's 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 where I'm. That's where I'm going with this, man. Being called something and it, and you hearing it is different, right? But again, I'm not. Again, if you choose to give things energy. You choose to do so. And again, if I'm driving down the road and somebody calls me that, I'm like, I, you know, I have to take that L if, 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 it's, if it's an L, if it's really an L. I can't get upset about everything that's done to me in this kind of country. I can't, you know, or, or everything that's said, said to me, not done, but said. So, um, but again, if I have to work with question. somebody or if I have to be around them, I'm going to check them to say, look, man, you don't know, you know, we don't get down like that. Like, that's not something that I appreciate. So, Yo, so let's, um, let, let's do, I hear you, I hear you. So let's do this, let's do because you, we have given Ro Jogan way more time than he deserved. So let's do this. Let's move on to the last circuit of our, um, of our set. I got two more questions for you, right? Um, All right. One has to do with um, what we say in people's presence or how we say things. Um, and the other has to do with your state. All your right, state. Next, your sunshine. All right, we're going to do, we're going to hit the floor. And we're going to do, we're going to start with medicine ball push up. All right. We're going to get a medicine ball like this. Rubber one, man. You know, uh, 
a rubber one suffices really works well because you get a good grip. And man, so with this man, we're targeting in the middle of the chest and we're kind of we're doing a push up on the ball, but then we're squeezing the ball uh, to get a good contraction on the way down. All right. So you're not just resting on the ball, you're trying to squeeze it as you're doing the push up. All right. Yeah. And I like to make contact on the way down. All right. So that's that. And then the next one is going to be my, um, you know, my famous, uh, the famous twist push up when you're doing a push up and then you're kind of coming up on your, hold on, let me get some where we can see. Here you go. Right. It's our favorite here in PE right here. And then the up and under spread wide legs, wide arms up and under. And we're going to, all of these are max reps, max Got reps. It. Got it. All right. So all right. Um, we talk about, so when we talk, it's just that we talk about power, right? Uh, we talk about the power of a word. Uh, you know, it's my position. It's my position that uh, white folks want to control the narrative. Essentially, essentially, they always talk about narrative. And, uh, and this year and last year, we talk about narrative. So they want to control the narrative. Um, they don't Ooh, want hey. to hear. They they want to either be able to use the the word nigger, or they don't want us to say it. And they don't want us to say it because it reminds them of what their history did. Um, I read this thing. Actually, I want to share it. I read this thing real quick. A quote. It said. Black history, what is that? Slavery isn't black history. That's white history. They said overcoming slavery is black history. Ooh, mm. let me say it again. Slavery is white history. It's not black history. Overcoming slavery is black history. They don't want to be reminded of their history, of what they did to Africans. So they don't want us to say nigga or hear it. And if they I have to so hear it, if they have to hear it, they want to be able to say it too. All right. So, so wait, so 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 you telling me that. This is this is this is our trigger when we do it. We do it and in, 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 in we we do it so often to really to get under their skin. Is that what you're telling me? No, what is I'm telling you is what I'm telling you is what I'm telling you is that's what we need to start doing. We need to stop letting <laughs> white people make us up. Now, hear me, a workout buddy. Stop letting white people make you uncut. Watch, I, I'm gonna prove it to you. Dave lives in Florida. We're gonna talk about Florida. Dave lives in Florida. I've been to his gym. His gym is predominantly white. Dave feels compelled to lower his voice when he talks about social justice issues and black issues they would never want to let a white person let him hear uh, hear him say nigger what i'm saying to a workout buddy let white people hear you say nigger and let them know that they better not say it hmm. because when you say nigger as a black person it makes them remember their history and what their folks did it makes them uncomfortable in your state dave in florida they are trying to pass a bill where it is a, against the law to speak about things that make people uncomfortable. They don't right, want right, people to talk right. about this critical race theory. They don't want white people to be uncomfortable. You can't make a white person feel uncomfortable about their history. This is <sighs> fucking bullshit. And it's rooted right. in the same shit that Ro Jogan is trying to do. Ro Jogan is trying to do the same thing. They don't want okay, to use the so, word because it makes them uncomfortable. It's a power, so not, a power move. I think, I, I think yeah, I'm not, I'm not arguing with you in the sense of like, um, you know, the, the word usage or whatever, right? I mean, it's not an argument. It's just more so my stance, right? But again, like, deaf ears, right? Um, again, I'm asking my oppressor to stop. Um, don't get it. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. Like, no, I mean, we just need to take action within to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to change that narrative. I get, again, we're crying to the same motherfucker that holds the whip. I don't understand that. Um, I'm saying that's what we're not doing that. That's why that's why I don't understand. But again, no, that. but you're saying we're not crying. But you're saying no, we're, de we're, 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 we're demanding. Get rid of no, but, That's what we're demanding. But oh, I mean, but that I think I mean again, it's just one of those things. Like I said, it all depends on support. Like get rid of, you know. Let's see how that support. Let's see how that 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 that, uh, that uh, pans out. But like to say it in front of them to to provoke a reaction or to you know to be a certain way, it just it does it. It's pointless to me. I, like I don't really see any. Um, I don't see any value in it at all. And I'll just lower my voice. Um, you know, not, not necessarily. But not, no, the, the word, the yes, word nigga is the word nigga. Like, the word. You're doing no, it right now. Did y'all hear that workout, buddies? He lowered his voice. He did. Do, say it again. Say nigga again. Say it loud. The word nigga. The nigga. <laughs> he did it again. 
<laughs> I told you. They want I, they, I, this is what they want from us. Listen, this is what no, this is I, what they I, want I, from us. They want us to be uncomfortable, bro, because it's about power. They want us to be uncomfortable here. Fuck that shit. But they did it. I, again, they didn't do it. Again, all we I, did was take so the hog mall and turn you, it into something that we could eat. That's how, how do you how do you how do you turn it into something we could eat? But how do you how do Go ahead. How do you how do you feel that I'm uncomfortable when I when I when I feel when I feel like anybody should be able to say it? But the, like that's what, that's what I want to say. Understand. You, but you but you know that you're, you don't, so you are you so you are you saying that you don't feel com- you, you feel comfortable saying that word? I know because I have felt uncomfortable. I still probably do. I can't wait. I, this is a new this is a new thought for me within the past few weeks. I can't wait to be around a white person to say nigga as many times as I can. I can't wait. I cannot wait. They're so confused by this shit. They cannot believe it. They're doing studies and shit. They're talking about nigga is such a powerful word because it has so many different meanings. They can't wrap their minds around it because they can't say it either. I love this shit. Oh, but, and, then, <laughs> and, then, and, and then Jay, what do we do with it? We just continue to use it like we do and demand that they can't use it, period. You know, and let just... them know that they can't control everything. They can't control everything. All right, so then we have our word. Then what? Right. I just ah, it's just so it's just so primitive to me. I don't. It's just not something that I want to give energy at all. Like it's just all, not. All I'm, a, saying is do, I'm just saying do what you normally do. But you already use the you already say nigga. Do what you normally do. Right. But all I'm saying is don't allow don't allow a race that thought that they were the master race. Don't allow them to control your speech. Period. And we have the power to control theirs. So use it. Use it. Yeah, we have the power sound, to control this. That doesn't that doesn't even sound right. Like, don't let them control sound our right speech, to me. But we, but we control theirs. Yes, that sounds absolutely right to me. Uh, absolutely right. That's just perpetuating the same thing in reverse. So, like, we have perpetuating. I, I, we we're not even able to perpetuate it because we could walk into a bank and get denied okay, based on the color so, of our skin. We can't so let's, let's racism. Talk, let, then let's we talk can. about that. So you're talking about we. So we accept this symbolic victory. Is that what it is? Fuck is that yeah. what we, we want? We, 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 it's not even accepting. We took it. We took it. They're trying to fight us back for it. If they're trying to fight us for it, that lets you know it means something, babe. We, but we took it how? How do we take it? By how do we take it? By, this is how. You ready? This is, you ready? Yeah. We take, yeah. we take it. We take it by using it and, and not really having a reason to. So There's it's no taking it. It's no taking it and saying... It's taking it and saying, "Nan, any boo boo, I can say it, and you can't get fired, or you know, blah blah blah." Is that that's what it that's what it is? I mean, taking without it? making it sound, without we we took what they gave us. That's we took it, we took it. They gave it to us, and it was supposed to make us oh. feel like it was supposed to make us feel like, uh, uh, however, or it did. It made us feel however it did. Now they're baffled because they're like, "Damn, the the weapon that we used against them, it, we formed it against them, and it didn't prosper." Well, it's still, it's still, it's still prosperous because we're still losing our sensibility when they use it. So there's two I ways mean, you can I mean, slice it. There's two ways you can slice it. I get what you're saying. You're like, yo, we use it so much, it don't mean shit. Ah uh-huh. ha! Like, but then it does when you use it. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't understand that. I mean, true dominion, true mastery, true power is the you know you've been able to endure with that with that, you know, uh, in place, you know what I mean? So like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just think we're doing the same thing in return. Um, but yeah, so what do you think about, so what do you think about, what do you think about your state and what in the bill they're trying to pass? What do you think about that? I mean, um, so it, I, you know what it is, man. Um, it, it's, it's funny. Cause like, it, I've been taught to kind of look at things from both angles. Um, in one sense, it's like, all right, man, you tell them motherfuckers, like you tell them people like they can't discuss their history anymore because in the sense that you're looking at it because it makes us feel bad. And you know, we're privileged in this country. I don't want to feel bad about what happened in the past. I'm not trying to, I'm not dealing with that anymore. It doesn't, it's not, we're not doing it. It's not happening. I didn't have anything to do with it. You talk a lot of folks about, you talk to a lot of uh, non-blacks about reparations and they're saying, oh, well, I didn't own them. I didn't do nothing, but yet, you know, you kind of live it off of the fruit of it, right? I didn't, you know, I didn't do that. I didn't have nothing to do with it. My taxes shouldn't pay for any of that shit. Um, but then in the other side, it's like, well, how do you, um, how do we know where we're going if we didn't know where we came from and how do we stop, um, how do we stop repeating those same mistakes if we not, if, we, if these children are not, you know, um, cognizant of, of, of our transgressions, right? 
Um, and the thing is, we still haven't really atoned. But again, I don't think it's us. I don't think, I don't think it's uh, their job to atone. You know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna be who they're gonna be. Um, and that's why I said like, sometimes we, we're just, we're not ready to assimilate. We're not ready to be in, the, in, that, in that conversation. We need to be on our own kind of atoning in that, in that sense. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're asking somebody, we're asking somebody, no, we're asking somebody to feel something that they can't feel. You understand? Um, they, they, they just, they just can't, they don't get it. They're not going to get it. So, so, okay. So, so, so do you, so do you agree with the bill or you disagree with the bill? Um, I'm, 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 I'm indifferent. Um, honestly, I know that sucks to hear, but, um, How? I, it's about you. I, just, it's about you. I know it is. I know it is. But again, it's up to me to, to, it's up to me to teach, you know, I raised my own children. You understand what I'm saying? What they, what they learn in school is, 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 is for them, is for them to, I guess, to progress in, 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 in corporate America or whatever have you in, 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 in normal society. But what I teach them is, is, is food for knowledge. Right. Um, and I'm going to continue to do so, right? I can't control, I can't control government. I can't control what, I mean, it sucks. It kind of sucks. It's, it's, it's throwing a bandaid on everything, not a bandaid, but a blindfold on a lot of issues. But again, what, 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 are we really asking them to, to, to side with us, man? Are we really asking them to say, you know, like, hold us in regard? Like, like we're, we're not, we're not asking them necessarily to do anything. We're just demanding that they tell, they teach the truth. Like one plus one. What, what truth is that? What truth is that? Fucking slavery existed. And right, the truth right. is, it's going to make white people uncomfortable whenever you talk about it. But, but how do you it, not make a white person truth? uncomfortable? But is it, but is it their it's, truth? Is it doesn't it, matter who. It's, it's the actual truth. If there was the, the, your story, my story, and the actual truth, slavery existed is actual truth. And the fact that what, when we, they don't want us to talk about it in school, that shows. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Right. It's fucked up. But where's right. the incentive, Jay? That's all I'm saying. What you mean? Like I'm, what, I, what, I think I'm looking, at, I'm looking at I'm looking at it from a realist point of view. It like I'm looking at it from a realist point they, of view. I don't know what, they, what what do you mean? They, no, they run they run this. Okay, they run this. All right, so you know we're we're in their world. You understand what I'm saying? And if that's what they're gonna if that's what they're gonna do, that's what they you know what I'm saying that's that's okay. it's not laying down. It's like it's not laying down. Laying it's down. like okay, that's laying down. What do you what do you what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? We're gonna gonna demand that they we're gonna demand that they not try to burn history books that show that they did some fuck up shit and that our people are strong. Listen, and that our people are strong willed, strong spirited, strong minded because we overcame that shit and we're still trying to overcome that shit and we still are. And then they're gonna teach our history. That's what they're gonna do in response. That's what they're doing now. They're teaching. They're they're teaching history. Period. It's not just our history. Slavery is their their history. In their schools, in their schools, bro. That's what they're that's supposed what said, to do. It's American what saying, history. Like, what are you supposed to But we're to teach? trying. But again, but you don't what want you're them to doing, say that Columbus stole America. You don't want them to say that either. But, Columbus but really discovered America. But what you're trying to do is assimilate. You're trying I'm not to trying assimilate. To assimilate. That's the opposite you're like, of what I'm trying look, to do. You're throwing it. You're throwing a tantrum. No, you're throwing a tantrum, and you're trying to you're trying to convince them. You're trying to convince them. It's not about you know that that's that's the problem, man. You're trying to convince somebody that's unconvincible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna fucking they're not gonna fall in line, man, because we're crying about it. Again, it's it's, our, it's, it's up to us to educate our own. You understand what I'm saying? It, that's not fucking stupid that's what to I, me, bro. I'm no disrespect, no, but we're paying we're paying but, we're paying the government. From, uh, you're bugging right no, now, man. You are and let's, bugging, let's, bro. Let's show some respect. Let's show some respect, man. You know what I oh, mean? You like, felt disrespected. You felt disrespected. My bad. But what? your opinion makes no sense. Your opinion makes no sense. We pay the American government for public school, and they should teach the truth. Period. Okay. You can't teach. You so can't teach. We hear should, me out. We, hear me out. You want respect, right? Give me respect. You cannot teach that two plus three equals eight. So you cannot sit there and choose what parts of history you're going to teach and what parts you're not, because it makes people they, uncomfortable. That is but not again, right, bro. But we don't control shit. We don't control a goddamn. We don't control anything. So I. So my point is, we start. We we're right. We pay taxes. But again, we need to we need to divert that same money to something of our own, right? If we really want all of this, we do it ourselves. We do it ourselves. They're not going to do it for us. Like you said, like demanding all of this and demanding all of that, like from from people that don't want to listen, that road's too long. You understand what I'm saying? We've been doing that for forever. We've been trying to get people to understand us, okay? And that's the problem. We need to do it on our own. Like, yeah, we want all of those things. How? How? We want how we gonna, how we, we gonna build public schools on our own day? Hey, we gonna hey, we, uh, we got to attempt. We got to attempt. Oh, my God. Not public bro. schools, but, but schools. Oh, my God. But schools. Do you, is, it, is, you, it un, is it unattainable? Is it unattainable? Is it, un, is it unattainable? 
Bro, you wow. Okay, so do you remember when us when we did when we were doing things on our own um, decades ago, um, and we were still trying to get resources from the government? Do you remember how that went in history? Like we had the least of everything. We had the okay. tattered books. Okay, but it's the same thing now. It's the same thing now. We're part of their school system, and we're not getting we're not getting we're not getting any love from it. So my thing is this: like we went we went to a school that was independent. Right, it wasn't the greatest, it but it was a start. It, it was it a start. Money, bro. It wasn't a public school. It's, we a, went to it's private a sacrifice. School, right? Is this is this no, important? Is this, can't, a, is this important? But people can't make that sacrifice. How you going? You gonna sacrifice rent to put your kid in private school? What are you talking about I'm, right not, now? I'm saying not, that public schools should teach but not, accurate history. That's what I'm saying. Have, teach, but it doesn't. It doesn't have to. So it, it doesn't. It has. It you know. It doesn't have to cost. It doesn't have to cost as much as that school did. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be that. But again, we have to start school, somewhere. Pu public schools should teach accurate history. Yes or no? So yeah. look at look, you said you said public schools teach accurate history. No, they should. Public schools oh. should be mandated to teach accurate history. But whose history? And what, what history? Right? Because it, that because American okay, history, history history is written by the victors. Okay, history is written by the victors. It's written by the folks that fucking win. OK, so that's who write those books. Right. What history are we talking about? I'm talking you know, about like, history, what, period. Black, slavery is a part of American history. The civil rights movement okay. is a part of um, American history. Um, uh, what is it? Um, Japanese internment camp is a part of American history. We should teach the truth about what happened. That's what I'm saying. It should be part of the curriculum. What teach is the truth? The truth. What is the is truth? A, that's um, the problem. What? Ask me specifically. Like, you, are you asking like, me like, okay, okay. this? Yeah, like, like no, 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 like slavery. Mm -hmm. You said you said we should talk about slavery. We said we should talk about slavery and the truth about slavery. What is the truth on slavery? The truth on slavery is the, what? What do you mean? Like, you want me to give you the whole history of slavery? No, 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 no. Because like, if you let them, because if you let them tell it, if you let them tell it, if you let you know supremacists tell it, they'll say basically we saved these dudes and we basically we bas basically gave them a better life. And I think everybody knows that's right? not true. That would like that's been proven that it's not true. Like pyramids existed. Like they didn't save us from anything. They they mined, they still mining our land for gold and diamonds. Like we had one of the most mineral rich, uh, we were on one of the most mineral rich continents. We we created mathematics. That's what we should be teaching, real history. Okay. That's and what, teaching and teaching and, and who needs to be teaching that, right? So we need to be teaching that to us so that we feel work like we have work. No, I think right? that the truth should be told in school because the school uh, to, education to, to is everybody. Is, Everybody, yo. Why Everybody? not? Why would you? Okay. Why if, if if we all we all got to pay taxes, right? We but, all, but it don't no, matter no, what so your skin color or your sex is. You got to pay taxes. It's a, it's a matter of it's a matter of should. It's a matter of should and and will, right? Should yes, I agree. It should, but will no. I'm I'm not optimistic on that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not. The thing is, it's our job to really push that agenda with our children and teach them that way. I mean, we're still educators in the same right as parents. So I don't think that we need to we, we can't rely on this system to do so. And we can't really, you know, use it. I mean, uh, uh, look, look at look at the BLM. You know, we, they tried hard to basically uh, to gain notoriety and to say, look, man, we're, we're here. We're, you know, respect us. And, you know, it's just basically discredited. That's why I said you have to just go ahead and do things on your own, find a way to do it. I don't know, man. I really don't have the game plan. I don't have a master plan, but opposed to like screaming at a system. Oh man, I'm about to die here. Me too, me screaming, too, me at too. A, <laughs> screaming, screaming, screaming at a system to say, please respect me. Please like me. Please teach my history. It's just, I think it's asinine. I don't think that works. I think that's why I said I'm a separatist because I think that's something that we have to take, take the bull by the horns and actually push. Hey, Ourselves, man, until I... This is a conversation that we love. We about to run out of power. This is a conversation that we um, uh, we're gonna have to finish oh, this conversation another day. We're gonna have to finish this conversation another day, bro. Well, there's always got to be a part two. We have to have a guest, uh, you know, older guest as well, younger guest, different points of view, uh, on on, on a situation like this. And that's for sure. Hey, man, I appreciate you uh letting me cut you out about this uh this topic though without uh any hard feelings. Um, you you know. <laughs> Yo, hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Yo, I got all the brothers in the gym, like, wondering, yo, what the fuck is going on over there with my nigga? Yeah, like, these dudes about to box, you know what I mean? Like, and yo, and fuck it's you for that, for that, like, me getting quiet and shit. Like, there's all these people it's in true. here. It's I'm true. loud as fuck. It's true. It's true. And you know what's funny? Hey, you, you talk about being quiet. You, you talk about getting quiet. My wife was saying, uh, yo, ass, 
She's like, your ass too loud, man. She's like, you too loud in there. That's funny. Hey, you know, hey, funny y'all shit. comment below. Tell us what you think. Hey, tell somebody else what we said here and t- tell them to tell us what they think. Um, just share it, man. Share the message. Um, because, you know, we need it. We love you. Um, love yourself. You've been in PE with Dave and Jake. It's a good debate. I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing to send I don't want nothing.